the Lincoln Continental is a large luxury car that has a lot to offer at a price point that makes it among the most affordable cars in its class. Of course, affordable is a relative term when talking about luxury cars. These Continentals sell for between $46,000 and $72,000 US, depending on the trim package you choose. It comes in base, select, reserve, and black label editions. Our test vehicle was a reserve. You can choose between 24-way or 30-way power seats. These are some of the coolest and nicest seats we've seen in any car. Lincoln is making use of high-end materials here. The leather is very soft and high-end on the seats, the dash, and the steering wheel. Some of the trim is done in real wood and metal, not plastic. The leather used on the seats and on the steering wheel is about as nice a leather as you're going to find anywhere. The 2019 Lincoln Continental gives you a choice of three V6 engines. The standard offering is 3.7 liters with an output of 305 horsepower. Two twin turbocharged V6 variants are available. A 2.7 liter V6 puts out 335 horsepower, while a 3 liter twin turbo V6 makes an even 400 horsepower. All three engines are paired with a six speed automatic transmission. Even with adaptive steering, there is very little road feel, but this is meant to be a large luxury car that makes passenger comfort the priority. This is not meant to be a performance car or even a touring performance car. It's built for comfort, not for speed. I prefer a car with a fairly firm ride and this vehicle has a very soft suspension. I would say almost too soft in some situations, especially on the highway at speed if you are taking ramps. To me it feels far too soft, it, it dips a little bit too much. The, the steering is fairly positive, but when you're going into those corners at highway speed, it really dips in a little too much for me. It feels, well, not as stable as I would like. This car competes with the likes of the Cadillac CT6 and BMW 5 Series. It costs less, and some would say this car is less refined, but the Continental is still a pretty awesome car. The panoramic moonroof is huge and glorious. The rear trunk with power lid is massive, offering 16.7 cubic feet of space. Inside, the cabin offers more head and leg space than many of its competitors in both front and rear. There's tons of room back here in the back seat, and it sort of feels like you're riding first class on a luxury airliner. You can upgrade to heated and ventilated power reclining seats in the rear with four-way power lumbar adjustments. There are fewer trim and engine package options available in Canada, so if you're looking, check the Lincoln website and with your local dealer to see what is currently offered. In Canada, the Continental is only all-wheel drive, but all-wheel drive provides better all-around performance. The Continental has not changed much since its reintroduction in 2016. The new Continental, though, adds more standard driver assistance and active safety tech, including blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, pedestrian detection, and automatic emergency braking. These were options in previous years. Standard features also include the SYNC 3 infotainment system, which comes with satellite radio, a 10-speaker stereo, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. There are also lots of physical buttons on the center stack for volume, tuning and climate controls. Also standard, you get dual zone automatic climate control, proximity key entry, push button start and remote start. Optional amenities include a 110 volt AC power outlet, tri-zone automatic climate control, the panoramic moonroof, HD radio, and a 13 or 19 speaker Revel premium stereo. This car seats five people or four if you fold down the central command unit in the back. The 
Continental is an attractive car. It has nice lines, performance is adequate, the ride is soft and luxurious, and priced well below its main competitors, the Continental fills a niche in the large luxury car segment that makes it worth consideration. So can this car compete with its European and Japanese competitors? You bet. Rick Walker, SST Car Show News.